In this video, we'll see how to display a loading animation when, while some data is loading inside WeWeb. So to do this, I have um, a collection list here of tickets that are actually coming from Xano, but it could be the same for any backend. And what you see is that uh, for the purpose of this uh, example, I um, made the API endpoint be super long to respond. So if I load my data, you see that it's taking three seconds before to return the data. So it, 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 it's rather long. So what I want to do is show a loading animation to users while the data is being loaded. So first thing I do is that I will search for the loader element inside uh, the add panel. I will add it inside my container. And as you can see, the loader is simply a loading animation. Uh, I can customize the colors, for example. Let's make it gray. I can customize the size, so let's make it bigger. The loading type, so for example, I could use wave or like bounce. Let's use bounce. Let's make it a little bit smaller though. And let's center it. So the thing is, this SVG is always displayed. So what I could do is that because of these tickets are actually a collection, they have a computed um, variable which is called is fetching or uh, like as fetched and I can bind this variable to uh, the display or the conditional rendering of each element. Let me show you this. For example, let's go on the loader, let's go in the settings and in the conditional rendering you see that I can toggle it on off and I can bind it to a condition. So here I will bind it to my tickets and you see here I've got two variables that are really interesting for me in this use case. Is fetching, which is false now, but equals to true when the data is currently fetching. And is fetch, which is the opposite. So like if the data is fetched, it's true, otherwise it's false. So now on the groups inside my uh, navigator, I will bind the conditional rendering to it's fetched. And now if I go into preview mode, and I load the data, you see that my uh, loader animation is visible because its fetch is no true. And when the data has fetched, the variable switch value and then the um, groups become visible and my loader is no hidden. So this is cool, but you would say maybe my data is not in a collection, so I don't have access to these variables. So then it's really easy to do. So what we do is that we'll um, do the same, but as if we were using an API call, for example, without a collection. So to do this, I will go inside the variables tab and I will create a variable, which I will call display loader of type Boolean. So it can be true or false. And the first thing I want to do is that the default value should be false then I won't preserve it on navigation or save in the local storage because it's only for displaying at this exact moment. So I will create this variable. And now what I'll do is that the loader um, animation, I will bind it to this variable. So um, display loader, so it's not visible. And for my groups, I will do the opposite. So I will use the not operator so that I invert the variable and I will do not display loader, which is true. So now what I would do is, for example, um, load my tickets on uh, during an API call. So to do this, let's, for example, uh, use the update button and change the workflow. So I used to have a workflow here. And oh, you know what? Let's create, copy paste this button, call it get tickets. And now remove this, but add an action. So first thing I will do is that I will change the variable value of display loader, because now I want to set it to true while the workflow is being executed. Next thing I want to do is a REST API call. So it could it should be a REST API call in this case, for example, but for the purpose of this example, I will only fetch the um, tickets collection. So it should, would mimic a REST API call. And now 
I will change the variable value again of display loader to false. So what I'm doing is that I say to WeWeb, change the value of this variable, then fetch the collection. And once the collection is fetched, change the value of this variable again so that the uh, animation is not displayed. And if I do this, for example, and I click on get tickets, you see that my animation, my loader animation is being displayed. And when the tickets are fetched, it's the opposite. So it's exactly behind the scenes, this is what's happening. And when you use collection, we, we web provides you computed data, computed variables that are doing exactly this behind the scenes. But you could use this for REST API calls, for example, when you're updating a variable, I mean, anything. And yeah, that's it.